Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot doing a quick reading for you. We're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread. At the end, we're going to do the all signs, if you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, etc. If any card repeats, I will point that out in case there's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case it's confirmation from somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. I'm not doing a pre-shuffle. Um, we're just getting right into it. Um, oh, and there's playlists for if you want to, like, if you, you know, I'm not going to, we're not going to do this. We're not, gonna, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We're not, we're not barking. We're not barking. We're not barking. Okay. So we're not barking anymore. Um, so there's playlists. So, and if this doesn't resonate, feel free to check out one of your other sign placements. So I'm in rising or Venus. So let's get into your money with the steampunk deck. Um, I'm, I usually show the decks in case you want to purchase one for yourself or for somebody else as a gift. I'm just going to tell you what they are. Um, steampunk, if you want to look it up. Um, I have, I think I still have links <laughs> to everything. I've made so many changes to the description and everything over the last few years. There might be links for the decks. If not, then I'll put some in. All right. So, um, ooh, cancer. What unhealthy financial habits do you have? Are you overspending? Are you an emotional spender? Are you an impulse buyer? What's going on? Because on the bottom of the deck is the devil card in your money portion. Mm. Don't be overspending. I know right now it's easy to do because I think all over the world, like everywhere, everywhere, everything, the price of everything is going up. Um, there's a recession in the United States. I, I don't know what's happening outside the United States, but I know it's probably not the greatest because all the markets seem to affect each other. So I know that things are obviously more expensive, but that points to unhealthy habits. I'm just saying. I'm a cancer son, so I I, I can give you shit. <laughs> All right, so, oof. so you have a lot of fear surrounding money. Um, and yet at the same time, you have reason to celebrate. Something you've put in motion, um, it's just a matter of time before it pays off. There's big changes, um, and things are going to be fair and balanced, so things are going to equal out. Oof. Hopefully, your love life does not affect your money. Um, I say this because I have something in my eye. I say this because two of cups on the bottom of the deck. So hopefully, a love situation is not what's affecting your money. Because you don't want that to affect, you know, your grind and how much money you make and all that. Because look at this. We had, what, the devil on the bottom and now we've got the moon starting it off. That's like fears, confusion, not sure what to do, which way to go. Um, and yet here is reason to celebrate. And then you've got all like big changes. So, um, for some of you all, okay, I, there's a, there's a small portion of cancers that need to hear this for some of you. And I hate to do it, but I'm just going to tell you, um, you're, what you're celebrating as over time, like it's, it's now catching up to you and there's going to be big changes, <laughs> So you might have to, and hopefully it's not like a court situation, which you have to like pay, I don't know if like, I, I don't know what, but hopefully that's not the situation. I know cancers don't want to hear that, but I just, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, what exactly, can we get a better picture of what's happening right now with cancers and their money? Why do we get all these cup cards? Um, so a new, a new love is affecting your money. Or is it a new start that makes you feel good? Something kind of new start financially. Something that you're doing that's different. There's a new beginning, a financial beginning that's making you feel really good. But this is like a, this is usually like a new relationship coming in. And it's in your, and look, this is also one of the marriage cards. Um, but it's in your, your money reading. What's up with that? All right, well, let's just, and since you had the two of cups and then the ace of cups, I'm just throwing that out there. Hopefully... You don't let a relationship or a person affect your money because that is not good. You don't want you don't ever want that to affect your money unless it's having a positive effect. But usually it doesn't have a positive effect. Um, so let's look at your career using the Modern Witch Tarot. Oh, I was going to use Steampunk, wasn't I? That's okay. All right. Oh. Wait a 
a minute. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, it's me. I, maybe I need sleep. I got four hours of sleep last night, so maybe I do. Um, the Knight of Wands. Was the Knight of Wands on the bottom? All right, hold on a second. Because that card's falling out. So, career. What's going on with Cancer's career? What is the deal with your career? Okay, this is your card. But it's also a card of you know, sharing love with somebody. And it could be somebody who's very different from you. But it's in your career. So why is love in your money and in your career? Two of Cups. Um, it's in both your money and your career readings. Page of Swords. you got people at whatever you do, if you work for somebody else or work for yourself, you have people gossiping about you. I wouldn't let it bother you, but I'm just saying. Um, and they could be emotionally immature people because there's a lot of pages here around you. Um, three of Pentacles, you're working together with people to make things happen. You might be partnering up with people either on, on a job where you work for somebody else or if you have your own business, you're partnering with other businesses to make something happen. Um, and you're fighting off competition. I like it. Um, man, what is the deal? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It keeps pointing to new love. So, Cancers, a lot of y'all have a new love coming into your life, and it could be through your career. There is that possibility, because the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups in both the money and the career readings. So, maybe you'll meet somebody on the job, and that would, be, that would explain why it's connected to your money. Hmm. But as soon as I, in my mind, I thought, what is this Ace of Cups? I didn't say it, but I thought it. So if it's somebody you meet on the job, here my, if it's somebody you meet on the job, they're not, they're not gonna, they're, they have problems. <laughs> they have problems and you need to be careful about that. So don't, I would say don't mix business with pleasure. I'm just gonna put it that way. Do not mix business with pleasure because they have unhealthy habits and it's just not gonna be a good thing. It's, it shows me, look at the seven of wands, you might have to block them in the end. Um, Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck for the love portion. This is you being very firm and clear with people of what you will tolerate, what you won't tolerate, and where you stand with things. Um, you're not mincing words. I like it. Queen of Swords is Libra energy. All right, so let's just see what is going on with Cancer's love life. Yeah, the... Ace and the Two of Cups kept coming out. Um, what's okay? So Six of Wands. Hmm. That's a Leo card. I don't know if you are dealing with somebody. Oh, the camera! You can't see the cards. Uh, I'm not gonna stand up and adjust it. So there's that. Um, so you may be dealing with somebody with something rising Venus in Leo, or somebody who likes attention. Justice card. There's Libra energy. Um, seven of Cups. Oh, that's a beautiful Seven of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. And the Hermit card. So, Leo, Libra, Scorpio, all of the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and, a, and this is Capricorn, and this is Virgo. Look at this Hermit card. If that isn't a Hermit card, man, look at that thing. Um... So, I don't know if th things may be quiet in the love department right now. Um, you are, you're definitely getting attention. You're, you know, you're putting yourself out there. But here's what I find interesting. I always feel like when cancers are out there, like people, you have a lot of haters. People see you and it makes, it brings out the jealousy. And I don't know what's up with that. But look, it, see how it's like. It's like fighter energy. Like you're out there and yet people are like coming for you. <laughs> so they're just, it's like they're, there's a lot of jealousy. So they see you and it makes them mad. <laughs> well, that'll be all right. Um, you have fairness or justice on your side. So I like this. So for those of you who are spiritual, I can put it this way. If you believe in God, I can definitely say God has your back. 
um, with a ferociousness. Look at this justice card. Good Lord, look at this justice card. Mm -mm. And normally the Seven of Cups is a card of um, not being realistic in love, being kind of, you know, um, just having kind of not being realistic. I don't know how else to put it. Like you had f almost like fairy tale ideas of love, but this particular seven of cups is different. Look at this. I, I love this. And cancer should, this should vibe with you all. Look at this. That is what a pretty seven of cups. But in this case, you all do have options. You have a lot of options and a lot of them make you feel really good. You have a lot of options when it, and it, when it comes to like, um, the role you play, I like it. So you have a lot of options coming from a lot of different places. Um, and there's new money coming in, and I don't know why that is in your love read. So I don't know if somebody is going to, um, if there's going to be a new start, a new person, that's it's going to be very stable. A new start that's very, very stable. Look at all the... Uh, Look at the artwork on this this pentacle. Well, well, they're technically supposed to be runes, I suppose, but but it makes me think of it's actually more like hieroglyphics. I don't know if you can see it. Is the light making it hard to see? Mm, hopefully, you can see that. So, I do like the three of pentacles because if whether it's a new person or an old person, whoever it is, they're willing to work with you. They want to work together with you. Um, but things may be kind of quiet right now, and I don't know if it's just a matter of you going in and seeking answers and paying attention to your intuition, because this is a card of intuition also, um, listening to your intuition. So, ah, you got a new start, and it's a stable one. I like that. All right, let's do the all, or not the all signs, let's do that in a minute, but um, let's do the general portion with the light seers deck. Um, look at this cancer. You all are looking at things like, and I don't, not just, not just like financial things. You're looking at everything, whether it's things you purchase, things you invest in, people you invest in, people you deal with jobs. You're looking at everything as what am I getting out of this? What am I getting out of this? Is this worth it? And I can understand that as well. <laughs> I totally relate to that. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, yeah. I flipped out. I'm not going to say what happened, but something happened yesterday. And I just lost it. <laughs> I flipped out. And I was like, that's it. I am not dealing with anyone or anything that tries to waste my time again. I'm not doing it. I'm not dealing with it. I am not. I was pissed. They won't go into why, but yeah, it was hot. <laughs> so, high priestess. Um, didn't I think? Uh, yeah, Taurus got that, and you could have something in Taurus or de be dealing with the Taurus. But uh, high priestess. So overall, um, you're just you're paying attention to your intuition. You're bossing up. You're taking charge. I like this, but you're still indecisive. Here it is again. Okay, Cancers. There is a new start in love. There is a new love. Either. With somebody from the past or on a, I feel like it's new new like new new not not this old stale you know dusty shit and it could be because you walk away because there's a walking away energy you're walking away from someone or something um is this you feeling impulsive <laughs> or or you've or you have dealt with somebody who's impulsive or you're going to be dealing with somebody impulsive. I'm not quite sure. And I almost want to get clarification, but look, this, you keep getting new start in love. Two of cups and ace of cups. You keep getting it and look at the focus on self-love. See how she's holding that in her hands. This person is holding their, it's like they're, they're holding their heart in their hands. They're, they're protecting their heart, but they're still, a new start but 
focus on healing and protecting that heart. I do like it though. It's like you're offering love too. If you are dealing with an Aries, <laughs> all right, whoever you're dealing with, you feel burdened by them. If there's a person from the past that you've already been dealing with, you it, it feels like a burden in some way. It feels like a burden. <clears throat> all right, if you're dealing with, uh, I'm about to take all these. So there's that seven of pentacles again, trying to decide if it's worth it. If you're dealing with an Aries, <laughs> They feel burdened, and they're focusing on self-love right now. Interesting. Okay. Taurus feels left out in the cold, and they, they're they they're kind of drama anyway. You get two fives, five of pentacles and five of wands. They're drama. They feel left out in the cold. They feel poor, um, and they're a chaotic, argumentative mess. So that, that, that's a disaster. Um, Gemini, what's the, they're going to reach out to you. They want a new start, um, want to revive things from the dead. Deal with fellow cancer. Look at this, man. Whew. You make them happy. They want a new start. So if you deal with a fellow cancer, they want a new start. You make them happy. Um, they might be kind of immature, though, because, you know, with that sun card, you know, there's a baby there. So there's a Leo. Um, they have a lot of passion for you, and they're losing sleep over this. Virgo feels like it's a disaster, and they feel like they know what they know. They're kind of cold and analytical anyway. Oh. Uh, Libra, they are holding, but they, they like control. They like to be in control. They like calling the shots. Um, and they're holding back right now. Scorpio is holding on to their money. And at the same time, man, I, you know what? Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they now realize that they've been too stingy with you. Look at this. So, and it could be with money. It could be time. It could be, you know, emotion whatever it is but they feel like they've been too stingy and now they want to make things right they've been too stubborn and stingy and they want to make things right sagittarius are trying to be patient that you are their wish capricorn want to work they want to work together with you they do have a lot of passion for you wow they really and you know what i think this particular capricorn you are really like you're really into them as well Aquarius is a juggler with an apology. <laughs> and the Pisces, <laughs> that was awesome. Um, the Pisces, um, they want to move on. Wow. Okay. Sorry about that. If, unless you don't give a damn, but the Pisces, they just want to move on and walk away. All right. Whoever you're dealing with, look, there is that's moving on to calmer waters, possibly moving energy. Maybe you want to move on from it. I don't know. But moving on to calmer waters or moving away, I don't know what the, what's exactly your situation. Cancer, thank you, love you, and I will see you all in the next one.